Hello all, I have created this video for those who have some interest about alcoholic beverages. Anyway, for sure I am not going to discuss anything about rum, gin, whiskey or vodka, but something which is more interesting that we generally ignore or overlook. Have you ever thought why most of the Indian brands of whiskey, rum or gin are having an alcoholic percentage of 42.8 only? What is this V by V? What is the meaning of the term proof written on the label of the bottle? So in a very simple language, I am going to explain all this to you. So please watch this video till end. So during the parties and all, we used to find the bottle of whiskey, spirits, rum, gin. And if you see the label of the bottle, you will find the percentage of alcohol is mentioned at the back of the label. The percentage of alcohol varies from spirit to spirit as well as from country to country. V by V, which is known as volume by volume, simply denotes the percentage of ethyl alcohol that is present in the bottle. But what if it is written 75 degree proof? What is the meaning of this proof? Now let's come down to the point. The term proof originated in 16th century in England. The British used the gunpowder method to test the strength of the spirit. That means they used to soak gunpowder to the spirit like rum. And if the gunpowder burns, that means the rum is proofed, having a strength of 57.15% alcohol by volume and if the gunpowder do not burns that means it is not proof the strength of the alcohol present in the rum is not up to the mark this method was applied to determine the strength of alcohol for different spirit as that time the spirit were taxed according to their alcoholic content now let's have a look of this proof system. There are three basic methods of proof. Number one, that is the British scale. Number two, that is the US scale. And the third one is the metric scale, or which is also known as Gay Lussac scale. Now, the British scale, or UK scale, simply it means, now listen carefully, if a spirit contains 57.15 percent of alcohol by volume in a certain spirit or you can say in a certain volume of spirit it has 100 degree proof as per British scale if a spirit contains 57.15 percent of alcohol by volume so that spirit will be considered as 100 degree proof spirit got it so for example 57.15 degree alcohol is equal to 100 degree proof so what it is written on our uh, bottle 42.8 percent of alcohol equal to 100 divided by 57.15 into 42.8 which comes to 74.89 or 75 degree proof this is a simple calculation if we see on a label of a bottle it is written 75 degree proof that means it is having 42.8 percent of alcohol by volume number two the second method is us scale which is very simple to understand it is simply 100 degree proof bottle that means 50% alcohol by volume. Once again, I am repeating. If a bottle is written 100 degree proof, that means the alcoholic strength of that bottle is 50%. That means just half. So, if it is written 80 degree proof on a bottle as per US scale, that means simply you divided 80 by 2 that means the half of 80 is 40 that means 40 percent is the strength of the alcohol 
and the last one that is the metric system or Gay-Lussac uh, Gay scale. These are also very simple. In the third system or metric system, if 100% is the beverage volume, then 40% on the level would indicate the volume of alcohol of that beverage. That means what it is written on the label, if it is 40% written, that means 40% is the strength of the alcohol present in that particular alcohol. This proof system also helps to keep with government's regulation. If the proof turns out to be more than the government regulated content, it cannot be sold anywhere. The regulated amount in India is 42.8% volume by volume, which follows the British proof scale. And that is why the reason it is written on the level of the bottle, 42.8% volume by volume. Now, according to Food Standards and Safety Authority of India, the benchmark for all alcoholic beverage in India has been set this February by an expert committee. Current license standard in India allow maximum 45.5% 40 of alcohol in spirits like whiskey, rum and gin, 12% for wines and 8% for beer. Anyway, there is no such limitations for the locally made beverage. So that's all. I hope uh, this video will help you a lot to understand the proof scaling system as well as to understand the label and for your information various different kinds of spirits are having different alcoholic content as you can see it depends on the country from where the spirits originates it depends on the liquor uh, law of that particular country excise law and accordingly the strength of the alcoholic beverages are considered thank you for watching this video if you like this video Please share and subscribe. Thanks a lot.